One rainy day, a lost little puppy appeared at the home of a kindly old couple. Oh, <laughs> darling, come here. Oh. oh, you're so wet, poor little puppy. My poor little sweet thing, you must be lost. I know we'll keep you at our house. The puppy was pleased to hear all this and wagged its tail. <laughs> the childless old couple named the pup Shiro and took great care of him. <laughs> Shiro was so well cared for by the old couple that he grew healthy and strong. Oh. 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 Now, now, um, what's the matter, Shiro? What is it? Hey, hey! The way Shiro tugged at the old man's trousers, it looked as though he was trying to lead him somewhere. <laughs> this way, is it? All right, all right. <laughs> Following Shiro's lead, the old man climbed a mountain. Now look, Shiro, just where are you taking me? After a while, Shiro stopped and waited. Why have you taken me all the way here, Shiro? Dig here! Ruff, ruff. Huh? Here, here! Ruff. You think there's something here? Hmm. Oh! Oh. 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 What did the old man discover but silver and gold coins gleaming before him? Oh, Shiro. Then you knew all about this? When the old man brought the treasure home, his wife's eyes went big as saucers. Shiro must really be a gift from the gods. Yes, I'd say so. We can't use so much money. I think we should give some to the poor. Honey, I think you're right. That dog knows something about buried treasure. <laughs> Oh, dearest! What? <laughs> what? You think that dog has special powers or something? No mistake. I saw it with my own eyes. All right. We'll take Shiro and dig up some buried treasure ourselves. But we won't give any of it away. It's all ours. <laughs> <laughs> The very next morning, the greedy old man went and borrowed Shiro, saying that he was needed for farm work. The greedy old man was lying. The kindly old couple did not question the greedy old man's motives and lent him Shiro. <laughs> All according to plan. Now you look good and hard for us, right, Pochi? Huh? Was that his name? Any name will do. Who cares? Good point. <laughs> The greedy old man tied a rope around Shiro's neck and dragged him off towards the mountain. Hey, dog, can't you walk any faster? Where's the treasure? Not knowing what to do, Shiro stopped in his tracks. <laughs> oh, so you mean it's here? <laughs> What the old man had dug up was a pile of stinking rubbish. You dare lie to me! I'll teach you, you worthless mutt! <laughs> Shira was beaten and beaten and beaten to death. Oh, good morning, good morning. I've come to collect Shiro. Oh, Shiro, he fell ill suddenly and died. 
Oh. Not to worry. Your doggy is buried good and proper. Oh, how could you do this? I stuck a branch in the ground where he's buried. Easy to spot. Oh, poor Shiro. No. Shiro, poor Shiro. Shiro. Oh, Shiro. Oh, poor little Shiro. To the old man's amazement, the branch had turned into a large log before his very eyes. The old man took the log home and made it into a mortar. If we use this to make rice cakes, maybe we'll feel a little as though Shiro is back. When the old man began to pound the rice... Oh. 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 oh my goodness! Each time he struck a blow with his mallet, the mortar filled with gold coins. What on earth? Well, I don't know what this... this is truly astonishing. Mm, now it's the mortar. I'll have to tell the greedy old man. The very next day, the greedy old man went to borrow the mortar. Once again, the kindly old man did not doubt him, but lent it gladly. Okay, so this time we're going to get some treasure all our own. <clears throat> the old woman started to pound <clears throat> only a tiny amount of rice. <clears throat> and then... <clears throat> oh, no, no, not again! Nothing but rubbish! Right this instant, I'm gonna take that lump of wood and burn it to a cinder! Hello, hello. I've come to take back my mortar. Oh, that mortar. Well, I broke that, you know. Huh? Not to worry. I thought it was dangerous as is, so I burned it. Shh, <laughs> Now look what's become of you, Shiro. Oh, Shiro, poor Shiro. You suffered again, and it's my fault. I'm truly sorry. <laughs> the kindly old man apologized through his tears. He collected Shiro's ashes in a wicker basket and headed for home. Oh, oh no! <laughs> the ashes! <laughs> An astounding thing had happened. The ashes, swept up by the wind, settled on a barren tree, which then bloomed spectacularly. Oh, Shiro, Shiro, it is you who has made this tree bloom. Happy now, the old man climbed a tree, and when he scattered Shiro's ashes to the wind, one after another, they filled with blossoms as cute as Shiro himself. Oh, Shiro, it's as if you're there, smiling. News spread of the old man flower who could make barren trees bloom. And when the king of the castle saw it for himself, he was most pleased. The old man received many valuable gifts in reward. <laughs> when Mr. and the greedy old woman learned of this... We'll make our trees bloom too! Get those ashes! What are you saying? There aren't any left! Then we'll use this dirt! <laughs> bloom, damn you! Ah! Bloom! Blossom! <laughs> <laughs>